I never thought that I would be burying my son, you know. So it's a different experience, you know. And when you're a young mom and you don't know that much about death, really, um, it's a scary experience. But with friends and family in hospice, it helped me a lot because things that I didn't know about, I learned about quick. The fact that I had 48 years with her, uh, a lot of people don't have that. Uh, he loved the boys. Uh, he never missed any activities that they did. He was just a wonderful man. I mean, he taught us so much and was a great daddy and husband. He supported my quilting, built me a beautiful room. When I walk out there, I feel like he wraps his arms around me. And we know that she died the way that she wanted to, and that was being at home with her children and her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Judy was just someone that um, really should be around longer because she was so special. And she was just one of those rare people that you felt like she loved you unconditionally. She always said she was ready for what was going to take place and uh, she prepared us the same way. He got to tell us a lot, and we got to tell him goodbye. That was important, and we had time to prepare for a little bit of it. When my mother passed away, within an hour, a hospice nurse was back there to take care of the things they had to take care of. The day she passed away, you know, they told us what was gonna happen, what to expect, and we were all able to be there with her. I'm glad I could've been there with her. Just as soon as we had to call hospice, they were here, and they took over, and he, he was in his mind to the very end, so he knew what was happening, and hospice was just so comforting to have. I don't know how I could've done it without him. They spent a lot of time with the kids, and if they needed therapy or whatever, they offered that. So hospice was a good friend, and they was caring, and we needed them a lot, you know. We needed people around, and they helped us, you know, a lot. Grandma Olivia replies, I love each of you very much. From the ones that met with the children, to the hospice minister, to the nurses, to the aides that came out and helped, all of them were there for Mama to explain and to work with her and to tell Nanny, this is why you are where you are. But at the same time, explain to a family that never had that feeling and that great loss like we did. They were always there for us, always, for all of us as well as for Nanny. As a chaplain, comfort comes differently for different people. Uh, some may find comfort in the traditional religious practices of prayer and scripture reading, but most often I think comfort just comes from walking together. I mean literally being a companion um, to know that you're not alone and if you can really learn to walk with someone and not worry about trying to have answers or explanations. That companionship for us as humans is what gives us, is what brings us comfort. One of the things that really makes this work special for me is to realize that we can come in and we cannot fix the illness. We cannot wave our magic wands and make that better. What we can do though is we can bring the best that we have to offer to treat all of the problems that are going on, both in terms of anxiety and pain, and sometimes just frank knowledge about what's likely to happen, and uh, closely coupled with that, what we're gonna do about it. I think just encouraging um, family members that they're doing well, just talking to the patients, finding out what their desires are for their end of life. I think they ought to know that we're out here to serve them and we do a good job and they just need to let us come in and just 
do what we need to do and see what kind of work we do. You know, it's so reassuring to know that we have the wonderful staff that we do and the comfort that we're able to provide to our patients and their family. It's just, it's just incredible. Some patients really do not have, um, they don't have family that can be with them. And even those that have family, sometimes they just need to get away. Vigil's created so that no one ever has to die alone. The last few days, as far as the nurse can tell, uh, that patient will have someone with them, holding their hand, reading to them, praying with them, whatever that need might be. They care and they love the people that they deal with, you know. My father died alone, and, uh, excuse me. I just hope that when I get sick, and I'm going to die, somebody from hospice is around that will come in and see me, because that would make me very happy. I think of hospice as a totally unselfish, caring organization. There's just something about the people. They just want to give of themselves. Hospice had some wonderful people, and uh, it was just so nice to see them pull up. They gave us the opportunity to come home. They came and helped us every day. They told us what to expect. We knew what was going to happen. They treated us with such dignity, uh, with such um, honor, and they made us feel like that losing a loved one is difficult enough, but the impact of the friendships that we made through hospice is the support. It's what we needed to carry us through many, many days and many, many nights. I believe that 24-7 that they were there for us as well as they are for any other family. When I grew up, you know, I knew what love was. My parents really loved us and took care of us. I'll always remember my mom and my dad. Each hour gets better, a little bit. And you take one day at a time and you work through it. It will never be the same, but you take one day at a time and you work through it, and that's it. I don't have time to think about the sadness. I only have happy experiences, you know, and he's all right. He's in heaven, and he's smiling, and I know that, you know, I know that. This is a quilt that we made for Judy Mayo. The colors were, um, because these were Judy's favorite colors. She was just uh, just an exceptional friend to, to everybody. She was wonderful. And she'll be with us every single day of our yes, lives. She you is. Know that. She is.